All right, y'all, we are back with another video. And before we start, please put prayers for Donald Trump in the comments section. We must protect President Trump at all times. And it bring me to this video right here. I had to check this out by Benny. He said Kamala Harris holds first rally without rappers and nobody showed up. Now, I told y'all plenty of times that the only reason she's been having some of these packed out rallies is because she's been inviting celebrities like she invited like the uh, singer, the rapper Megan Thee Stallion. She always trying to invite rappers and try to use them to make it seem like her rally is full. When you can tell as soon as the rappers get done performing, they walk out on her. We see it all the time and Kamala Harris has been exposed. She is upset, freaking out because hardly anybody showed up. This right here is something that we all knew about already, that this woman is a fake. She is a phony. So like I said, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. That way you can stay up to date with everything that's going on. And let's check out this video right quick, y'all. Let's go. Bull is something maybe your grandfather used to say to you. These old adages have a lot of truth baked into them. What that one means is if you see a shiny new object, um, don't go crazy for it because mm -hmm. the chances are it's not a hunk of gold. Chances are it's probably just a cheap knockoff imitation that, um, yeah, is worthless. Mm -hmm. Now, you may have seen in your social media feed a bunch of brand new polls and even some images of like lots of people at a Kamala Harris rally over the last few days. Now, we've done our best to fact check these massive rallies mm -hmm. and to just simply say, uh, okay, here is hundreds of influencers saying that they're being paid by Kamala Harris. Yep. Here are uh, half a dozen Grammy award-winning artists that are performing free concerts to yep. get asses in seats at these yep. things, as you can see here in this post from Savannah Hernandez, people getting up and leaving after Megan V. Stallion, don't tell Tim Walls, there's a stallion on stage. <laughs> He'll get too excited. Sure uh, will. Megan V. Stallion performed here. At, this was in Atlanta. And you can see people just fleeing, just leaving. We cautioned people to say, when there's free concerts and when there's hype about somebody, it's called a sugar high or a honeymoon, right? And when they're bussing people in and when they're paying influencers and they're busting in like public, there's a lot of people who work for the federal government, a lot of people who work for mm -hmm. the public sector that get told they must go to an event or their job depends on it. A lot of people who work for unions get told they must go to it. We like just sort of cautioned people, all right, about this. The wisdom of old cat turd. I love cat turd so much. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, like Hillary, Kamala Harris will continue to do rallies with bigger stars and free concerts to draw crowds. Here's what Hillary Clinton looked like on an election night. I think this was the Beyonce concert. Uh, and here, here, look, look at all these people. Lots of people. Look at all that. I mean, there, there's lots of people at this rally. Thousands Jeez. and thousands of people there for Hillary Clinton's doomed rally because of Beyonce, right? So anyway, all I'm trying to say here is you got to listen to your boy, okay? Got to listen to your, your boy here because we were right. Because we were right. <laughs> the honeymoon is now officially over for uh, Kami Kamala. Because people are starting to learn that Kami Kamala is a communist. And yep. the normalization of the race has begun. And it's very exciting. This is Kamala Harris's rally uh, right now. Okay? What's going on? Today. This is in the all-important swing state of North Carolina. Listen, if Kamala Harris wins North Carolina, boy, that's a big win for her. Uh, they can't even fill, like, this high school gymnasium. Now, <laughs> a reminder... Kamala Harris rallies before the massive sugar high of the corporate media couldn't mm -hmm. fill a high school gymnasium. This is a image of a Philadelphia gymnasium that Kamala Harris spoke at at the beginning of the summer with Joe Biden. And they forced the students to go. They couldn't even fill up half a basketball court for Kamala That's Harris. That's crazy. This is called normalization. This is what the hype eventually wears off Yep. And you start getting crowds like this. More like this. Okay? Still, probably an enormous amount of people that have been forced into their seats or paid off. We're not arguing that these, are, these people are AI. If they are AI, then it's a really bad AI job because it looks like there's like 
I don't know, 30 people there? Yeah. Not good. That's not good at all. On the, uh, the presidential podium, though, already. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Anything for the gram. Look at this. Seems like without paid rappers twerking, Kamala's crowds are as scarce as a Wi-Fi signal in the middle of nowhere. Uh-oh. Spaghetti. Man, man, man. Wow, where'd Kamala's big crowds go when she doesn't have a free concert? Good question. Maybe her crowds are not here to listen to Kamala Harris butcher her lines about communist price controls. Listen to this. Literal communism, but she can't even get the lines right. And I will work to pass the first ever federal ban on pr price gauging on food. It's gouging, not gauging. Price gauging. Price gagging. It's called price gouging. What lady. the world? This is Kamala's rally. And this is the Trump rally. In North Carolina, these rallies are like right next door to each other. Look at that. This is Trump in North Carolina. Trump's Look not even on stage, by the way, in this video. See, that right there shows you the difference. Now, they try to put it up in this gym right here because she cannot fill up a stadium. Every single rally Donald Trump have, you see no empty seats. This rally of Kamala Harris, and she can't even fill up a basketball gym. She can't even fill up a gym. It seemed like nobody showed up. It's more meteor there than people. And that's supposed to be a rally. They go to show you when she ain't got Megan the Stallion, when she ain't calling rappers and stuff like that, telling them to come do a concert, telling rappers to be there. Because, you know, rappers do. They post it on their Instagram or whatever or, you know site that they have to let they, you know what I'm saying, people that support them know they're going to be at a certain place. And that was the only reason Kamala Harris had a lot of people at that at her previous rally because she had Megan Thee Stallion and all them people came out to see Megan Thee Stallion because they support her, not Kamala Harris. So when she doesn't use stars, look what happened. She had rallies where pretty much nobody shows up. Probably the reason why she left that rally early, in tears. They go to show you right there she cannot compete with Donald Trump. Just like Donald Trump rallied today, sold out, packed. I mean, there's no way Donald Trump would be able to do a rally inside a basketball gym. You know how many people be sitting outside trying to get in? She can't fill up anything unless she have a star. That right there just goes to show you everything you need to know that this woman is a fake. Kamala's crowd without the performance attached. This yeah. is the swing state of North Carolina. And that's what I just said. See, when she ain't got the, like the stars, it, there's nothing she can do. Nobody supports her. They're starting to look like Joe Biden crowds. Hmm. Yep. Very strange. Meanwhile, uh, Donald Trump in blue areas, right? Mm -hmm. Blue areas. St. Cloud, Minnesota, Atlanta, Georgia. These are like, these are Democrat areas. Peace. This is not the same photo again and again. These are all different arenas. Different arenas. Whoa. And see, if you look at that, if you look at Donald Trump rallies, that's exactly how his rallies be. Kamala Harris never has that. Donald Trump don't, don't have to get uh, rappers and, and famous singers, celebrities. He don't have to do all of that to draw all them people out. All Donald Trump got to write down, and, hey, I'm going to be right here in your city. I'm going to be right here in your state in two days. And this is where he's going to get every single time. Nobody shows up to see Kamala Harris unless she uh, she bring in some big star that's, that's very famous. That's the only way. President Trump in Harlem. President Trump in Harlem. This is Harlem. Harlem. One of the most, one of the most diverse, uh, you know, populated Democrat stronghold mm -hmm. districts in uh, the country. Yep. And this is President Trump on stage in Harlem. The overflow rooms were like, you know, you were, you, you were unable to move in the overflow rooms. I mean, just packed out everywhere he go. Uh, it, not good. Not good for Kamala Harris. Look at this. Look at it, man. This. Okay, so here we go. So if you look at look at that right there, y'all, it's only a few people. There, and it seems like the seats ain't even filled up. It's only a few people there. Then you see like right behind it is just media, just camera people. It seemed like nobody show, showed up. Look at all them empty stands. Look right there on the, on the left side right there. There's literally nobody there. 
that is wild. That right there just goes to show you that you ain't as popular as you think you is. You you keep having to call stars to fill up seats for you. <laughs> Kamala Harris is not on stage yet, but you can see that the vast majority of the people are media. This is now reverting to Joe Biden level. Okay? Mm -mm -mm. This is Joe Biden level crowds. Uh, we went to a uh, Donald Trump rally. This was in South Carolina before the primary. Look at this. Look at look at all them it people. It took us like 20 minutes just to get to the end of the line. Wow. Look. Look at that. Line the still end of the going. line to get in. But to speed it up. The energy for Trump in New Jersey, where Donald Trump had 100,000 people gather. You can see here. Wow. 100,000 people. Arguably mm -hmm. the biggest political mm -hmm. rally in history. Go to show you right there. Crazy. This was us in South Carolina. We filmed, we filmed this ourselves. I mean, Packed this is just out. the one that we went to. There's MAGA rallies. There's a lot of MAGA rallies. I encourage you to go to one. Mm -hmm. This was Trump in Georgia. And there's, you know, more and more and more. So, yeah. It's crazy. Kamala Harris. Trump is too lazy to campaign in swing states. Look at this. Including St. Cloud, Minnesota. <laughs> it's amazing. Donald Trump's doing these events in Democrat cities. He is. And Remember, he, he had over 100,000 people in New Jersey. Showed up to the rally in a blue state. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, Kamala Harris is crushed. She is done. And I'm telling you now, only way she's going to have a packed out crowd, she's going to have to invite somebody. That's her only way. She'll never have that many people sitting outside a building waiting to get in to see, to hear Kamala Harris speak. There's no way in the world. She'll never have that. Is cooking Kamala. Honeymoon over, man. The honeymoon is over. Meanwhile, we got very good news. Tulsi Gabbard is going to help. Tulsi Gabbard, the one who ended Kamala Harris's campaign last time, yep. is helping Donald Trump on debate prep. And uh, the Washington Post, of all places, is calling Kamala Harris a communist. When your opponent calls you communist, maybe don't uh, propose price controls. Meanwhile, Donald Trump getting big time rapper endorsements. Yep. Come on, baby. We all Donald Trump, see there? Everybody respects Donald Trump, man. They know uh, he's what's best for this country. And if, if we're going to get it back to where it needs to be, Kamala Harris had three and a half years to fix everything she's trying to so-called say she's going to fix now when she's still in office. She still ain't doing anything at this moment. But sitting up there, lying every chance she get. The woman want to raise taxes. She want to let criminals out of jails. She want to get illegals, health, free health care. All type of stuff. We can't have it. She's trying to destroy this country. As much as she already and her and Joe Biden already did, she's trying to make it even worse. So like I said, y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.